Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Yo Joe Outlet, your only source for G.I. Joe weapons and vehicle accessories. Don't have that incomplete Joe any longer. Connect with Yo Joe Outlet Center and complete that figure for an awesome price. Go check them out on eBay at Yo Joe Outlet Center and Facebook Yo what Joe Outlet. What is up, guys? Chasing up the New Age Revolution down here in the G.I. Joe cave. The G.I. Joe Pit, I believe it's supposed to be called. Yeah, let's call it the G.I. Joe Pit. And you fans of the G.I. Joe comics certainly know what the pit is. Uh, today is a, is, a, is a very important day because we are crossing out of 1984 and crossing in to the glorious year of 1985. And... The end of 84, beginning of 85, was probably my peak interest, was, was, is when my peak interest uh, of, of G.I. Joe was. Um, I, I watched a lot of the cartoon in mid to late 84, uh, before school, after school, and, and it was just, you know, it was great. Uh, the toys, you know, the 85 toys were probably the ones that I remember friends having the most, or I remember me having, you know, a few from 85. So 85, I think, is, is one of the bigger years uh, for G.I. Joe, and we certainly get a ton of figures. This is a, this is, there's a lot of figures in 1985. Not as much as 86 and 87 and 88 have. Uh, but there's there's a lot more figures in '85 than there are, uh, or than there were in '84. Uh, so you can see a little uh, difference here in the in the backdrop. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I moved the the shelves down so that you guys could actually see, um, and I can sit here in front of the the growing GI Joe uh, collection. You also will notice my my new best friend sitting next to me here, the Terradrome. Um, which was if if you if you didn't see my my holy grail, you know I can't believe what I just found um, video that I made a, a week ago or so. Um, I, I've got the, the Terradrome. I got this from a, a friend who bought it from a garage sale uh, for the depressingly low price of five dollars, and I was able to buy it from him uh, for more than five dollars. But here it is. Uh, we've also added a new shelf. We've got a we've got a third shelf now, and um, it's a little different. I couldn't find this cut of wood anymore. I've been buying these shelves, these wooden shelves. They would sell these wooden shelves at Home Depot, separate. You know, it, it, you know, they had their own little section. They were like cut scrap wood, um, and they were like four dollars and fifty cents for these shelves. And I've been using these for about fifteen years. And then today, when I went to Home Depot to get another one, uh, they, they didn't have any more. They were gone. They didn't exist anymore. So I had to get, you know, an actual Rubbermaid wooden shelf. Uh, and it's white and it's different. So I don't know. And unless I can find this wood, um, we're going to be doing the white shelves, which I guess is okay too. Um, so that's it. We've added, the, we've added the third shelf. And the third shelf is going to be labeled uh, the 1985 figures because we have completed the 1984 line. That is right. I have had uh, Firefly for about uh, two months, but I have not had his uh, accessories until now. And here's a you, you can we'll, we'll we'll take a closer look at all these figures uh, as I'm talking, uh, but this this phone accessory um, sells for stupid prices on eBay, and I settled for a a um, a custom job a uh, you know like a like a replica I don't know I don't know what he does if he if he you know. If he does a uh, like a 3D printer or something, I don't know. But I, I settled for that because it was four dollars and ninety nine cents, as opposed to the exact same size, the exact same design, 
for twenty four ninety nine. I just couldn't do it. And and as you take you know a look at these figures, you'll see how small and how insignificant this little accessory is, and how I could not justify paying for an actual uh, phone. So we've got Firefly. He rounds out the 1984 figures. And so as we do here on the channel, we will slap him in his, or on his stand, and we will add him to his forever home, right next to Spirit, joining the family. Firefly has, has come home. So that allows us to jump into 1985. I am so pumped to be starting this year. I love it. And we have five complete figures to add to the 1985 shelf. I have one, two, three, four more that need accessories. Not all the accessories, some of the accessories. I have some, I need some. We've got five complete to add, we've got four sitting over there that need weapons, and then we got a bunch more that we just gotta, just gotta collect from scratch. Um, I didn't get a chance to thank, uh, to publicly thank Yojo Outlet. Uh, they, of course, are, um, you see their ad at the beginning of the, of the show, and they have been uh, very generous uh, with their, you know, uh, me picking up accessories from them. And I bought, I bought an accessory from them uh, about a month ago, and they sent five figures. <laughs> And, I, and they were 85 figures, so I didn't get a chance to, to, to show you and to thank them publicly. But, you know, Yojo Outlet is an, is a, is an incredible organization. Um, reach out to them. that You can find them on Facebook and you can find them on eBay. Um, and they're not just G.I. Joe accessories. I mean, they are action figure accessories of all kinds. Uh, vehicle accessories of all kinds. Uh, wonderfully priced. Uh, fast, fast shipping. And obviously, a very generous group of folks over there at Yojo Outlet. So I, I want to publicly thank them for sending me some fun figures to add to the collection. Uh, so the first complete figure of 1985 is one of my favorites from this year. And one of my favorite characters from the cartoon. This is Bazooka, ladies and gentlemen. Take a closer look at Bazooka. And you can see he is complete with backpack, helmet, and weapon. Uh, you will notice the old school 80s Patriots jersey on Bazooka. This is the uh, uh, quarterback of the Patriots, Steve Grogan. Steve Grogan uh, jersey is, is sported by Bazooka. And the, the backstory behind that is that the uh, Hasbro, Hasbro, uh, uh, Factory was in uh, New England. Was in uh, was in uh, Pawtucket, Rhode Island, and so you know I think that's a fun fun little fact that uh, that the factory is 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 housed in in Rhode Island in New England, and Bazooka gets a Steve Grogan jersey. I love that. There's also a figure that has a Boston Red Sox hat, a uh, cutter. Cutter is sporting the Boston Red Sox hat, so you can you know where the Hasbro uh, fandom lies. Bazooka is added to the shelf, and we will label those shelves a little later. Uh, this board is a little thinner than this board, so it's gonna it's gonna take me a steady hand to to label the shelves. But Bazooka is now part of the team. Uh, from the Dreadnoughts. One of my favorite uh, groups in G.I. Joe, subgroups, sub-factions, if you will. Uh, we have uh, complete, if I can grab all of his little weapons here, we have the Dreadnought Buzzer. And here's, a, here's a closer look at Buzzer. Uh, Buzzer comes with all accessories. He's got that pretty awesome chainsaw gun type of thing. 
Uh, he's got his backpack, which actually contains or houses a gas can for his chainsaw weapon. And then he's got kind of like this little swinging pickaxe thing. And uh, he's, he's joining the crew. His buzzer is now part of the New 80s Revolution. And so we will, we will do the, uh, the traditional welcoming to the family. As we put, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this weapon in his other hand if I can get it in there without breaking it. And we will add the Dreadnought buzzer to the family. Let's get him in a position that'll look good on the shelf. Drop those hands a little bit. Get him centered. And then we'll add them right next to Bazooka. If you hear anything in the background, it's my children who are playing Sega Genesis right now and who I, who I implored to be quiet while filming. And they apparently don't know what that means. Uh, next up is Ripper from the Dreadnoughts. Ripper is complete with his with his gun with his I don't know what is this like a torch and he's got the cord you know he's got the little cord that that well, there you're, you're looking closer at it now you can see buzzer or you can see Ripper up close so Ripper has joined the family so we'll get him set up and let's see he's got a lot of little accessories so we'll we'll put the We'll put the the the, uh, the assault rifle in his hand, and we'll probably put the we'll probably put the torch here uh, in back of him. Some of these some of these bigger accessories I just store behind the figure on the shelf because they can't they you know they can't hold everything. So there's the dreadnoughts hanging out together. Uh, next up, we have a slightly yellowed, not entirely yellowed, not too bad. Uh, we have a frostbite figure. There he is, a complete frostbite. And as a kid, I always, uh, for some reason, always liked the, win the, 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 the outside figures, you know, the winter figures. Um, frostbite, snow job. You know the, the you know snow job came with the skis. I, I always loved that, and and I think it was the commercials. I think the commercials really sold the fact that you could take your GI Joes out in the snow and just have a blast. You know, because I would associate you know snow forts. You know the, that I loved to play in and build. Well, how great to build little miniature snow forts and just have these awesome snow adventures. So I always liked uh, I always liked the winter figures, and there you saw. A closer look at Frostbite, and we will get him positioned, and again added to the family. So that is our fourth figure from 1985. And now, finally, we have. I want to. I want to give you a little backstory on him. Uh, I think he's deep in the book here. There he is. This is the Cobra communications expert, Televiper. Televiper, with his a couple of these, a lot of these figures in '85 came with these hoses that would attach to their to their backpacks. Um, this is his um, includes his VS11 scanner Communip Communipack, his scanner Communipack. And hose. All right, so there we go. We've got a complete televiper for you to enjoy. Hopefully, those close-up pics are showing off the the true close-up beauty of these figures. So we're gonna we're gonna slap this backpack. I'm gonna call everything that goes on his back a backpack, even though this is a communipack. And we'll put the hose behind him. And we'll add Televiper. Oh, we might have to might have to move Frostbite's gun a little bit. He's uh, 
not allowing Televiper to stand next to him. That's very mean. So there we go. There they are. Five new additions to the family. We're running out of uh, running out of stands. Those are uh, twelve dollars and ninety nine cents from Amazon. Uh, like I said, there are four more figures that I have to get weapons for, so I will be um, checking out eBay and checking out Yojo Outlet to grab some uh, to grab some weapons. And hopefully, we'll complete those four soon, and then we'll just start picking some figures off the list and just. Uh, just adding the collection. So that's that's 1985's. The, the, the end of 1984 has come and gone. And as and we begin 1985. So thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, we'll pick up soon as we add more figures to the shelf. We will see you next time on Collecting is Half the Battle. A good night now.